How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of SoCal Watch Reviews. Today we got a very special unboxing of a micro brand watch, Zinea. Uh, this is a diver watch. Um, the company is located in Canada, but this is a Swiss made watch. Today I am rocking the SPB 143. So let's see what is going on with this unboxing presentation so far is is pretty well executed with this. I've seen the inner box in pictures and it looks amazing. So let's see what we got going on. Yep, just as I expected right here. Um, so nice carton box right here, but this, this is awesome. I'm not sure if this is real wood, but it really appears to be nice wood with some nice finishing and the medallion on top with the company logo, company name, and this appears to be two fish, dragon fish, not 100% sure what that <laughs> Twenty twenty has been a horrible year for the entire world, but pandemics affect people in different ways. I'm not talking from a health aspect because that's a completely different topic altogether. I'm talking from an attitude perspective. Look, you can either be super depressed and look at the situation as a limitation, or you can be like Jason, the owner and founder of Zenea Watches, and take the completely opposite approach. You see, Jason launched this brand watch company in twenty twenty, and for that he gets my respect. And he's a true example to never slow down and don't let a situation control your actions. Remember, you're in control, so go out and get it. Jason was so confident in his watches that he funded the whole thing himself, and that's even more remarkable. The attention to detail can be seen from the packaging to the watch. It's interesting that as a Canadian brand, the color red is seen throughout the seconds hand, the outer packaging, and the chapter markings at the five intervals. They all use the same Pantone color as the color found in the Canadian flag. Very nice. As previously mentioned, the watches are Swiss made, and after being able to handle it for a while, I can tell the watch is really well finished and the design was properly executed. The name of this model is the Eula Diver. It's offered in five different color variations. Volcanic Obsidian Black, Japanese Garden Blue, Ocean Hornet Yellow, Time and Space Meteorite Dial, with a blue bezel, and of course, this white dial version called the Snowcap Classic White. Production for these models started back in September 2020, and they're expected to ship out to the new owners in mid-January 2021. The launch price on this watch was $5.99 in the US. That also includes all the other dial color variations, except for the meteorite dial, and the regular price will be $8.65. But right now, they have a sale going on for six fifty nine, dollars so go get them. And the watches are covered by a two year warranty. Let's get into the specs of this watch. The White Cap Classic White Eula Diver with the white dial and onyx black bezel measures in at 41 millimeters. It's 48 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip. The lugs measure 20 millimeters and it has a thickness of 12 millimeters. And the entire watch is constructed of 316L stainless steel and it weighs in at 171 grams. These Goldilocks specs are just what the watch industry needs moving forward. I have been waiting for a micro brown company to come out with these exact same specs and these looks, so I'm glad Sania delivered. The watch wears incredible on my 6 and 7 8 inch wrists, and the overall feel and look of the watch really is great. I know the white dial makes it look super sporty, but when you switch it to the supply black leather strap with red stitching, it definitely changes the look of the watch. It looks super sporty, yet elegant at the same time. The quality on the strap is also great. It features a quick release system and the buckle features the company engraved logo. The dial of course is protected by an AR coated sapphire crystal and around the dial is a really easy to grip 120 click unidirectional onyx black ceramic bezel that is fully loom with BGW9 Super Luminova. The bezel has an awesome responsive feel and there's really no back play. I can tell the company took a little extra time making sure they got the feel of this bezel just right. The white dial at first glance looks matte white, but there's a little bit of a sparkle to it in certain lights and it really looks clean and very nice but you know what unfortunately you would not be able to see that unless you had a macro lens or a loop around the dial we find applied indices and the applied numbers 12 and 6 the logo has also been applied at the 12 o'clock and right below it the company name has been printed 
Also at the 6 o'clock we find some more printing. The words Yola Diver, Automatic, 300 meters, 30 ATM, and the words Swiss Made. And of course at the 3 o'clock we find the date window. Around the chapter ring we find the minute markers that are both black and red. And of course at the center of the dial we find a very legible hour and minute hand that have been nicely polished around the edges, just like the indices. And we can't forget of course of that cool red seconds hand, it really stands out and it has that vintage lollipop look to it. Now let's talk about one of my favorite features in dive watches, and that of course is Loom. This specific model has plenty of BGW9 Superluminova applied to the hands, second hand, indices, and the bezel. And Jason also tells me that they'll apply some additional layers to make it look even loomier. The screw down case back is engraved and it features the same heraldic dolphin swimming in a concentric circle to represent the continuity and never ending nature of time. And at the center of the dolphins we find the Zenea styled hourglass logo. And of course around the case back more information about the watch. I have to say that I have seen many case backs but this one is really detailed and super beautiful to look at. The case of the watch has a mixture of polished and brushed surfaces that are really well finished and the balance between them makes this watch look a little more expensive. At the 3 o'clock we do find some crown guards protecting the 5.5mm screw down crown that also has a company logo. The screw down crown helps this watch obtain that 300 meter water resistance. One of the cool changes that will be implemented in the models being offered to the public will be that the threads of the screw down crown will be anodized red to assist the wearer to recognize when the crown has not been fully deployed into its secure position in the case prior to entering the water. Very cool feature I might say. The solid link H style bracelet has a mixture of brushed and polished surfaces as well and it really does feel well built. Deploying the clasp is done by pressing the two deploying buttons and of course we are greeted with the male clasp. One of the things that really took me by surprise was that this watch features a really easy to operate on the fly diver's extension that of course helps you in adjusting the bracelet on the go. This to me is a super useful feature and as we all know when we're wearing stainless steel bracelets it could be a hit or miss on some watches and specifically depending on the weather so having this makes it super easy. The bracelet does feature screws so we can size the links. And the company will offer also a quick release system in the models that will be sold to the public, which is remarkable. Like I said, attention to detail on this watch is something else. Also a nice touch from the company is a logo that has been engraved on the buckle. Look, overall the bracelet actually feels really good and is finished very nice. Powering this watch of course is the ETA 2824. It's a Swiss automatic movement that has a frequency of 28,000 vibrations per hour and it features 25 joules and it's accurate to, I don't know, plus minus 12 seconds a day. And of course you can hack it, you can hand wind it. And I do know that other micro brands feature this reliable movement and in fact Tudor feature this movement in some other Black Bay watches. Look, while it's a basic time only uh, movement, well also it implements a date on this specific model. One of the cool features about this specific movement is that with very little modding, they could actually add different complications to the movement such as a moon phase, annual calendar, even a perpetual calendar. Definitely a good choice as far as movement and is respectable in the watch community. In conclusion, I think Zenea is offering a really good watch for the money and it's really crazy to me that microbrand watches are really bringing great specs to the table for honestly not a lot of money. Look, okay, I recognize that paying almost a thousand dollars for a microbrand watch is definitely not for everybody and heritage to some collectors is really important. However, remember that your favorite watch brand started from the bottom, in my opinion. If you haven't had the chance to check out a micro brown watch in the metal, please do so and you won't be disappointed. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for your continued support. And if you do like my channel and, and want to support my journey into watches, please comment, like, subscribe, and as always my friends, stay humble.